It's 11 o'clock in Melbourne, 10.30 in Adelaide. This is News Now for this Saturday, the 16th of February. I'm Elizabeth Tilley. Also this hour, rescue crews deployed in central Russia helping with clean-up efforts from a meteorite that plunged to Earth. And in sport, the honours shared in tonight's NAB Cup clash in Perth. For the sky weather forecast for tomorrow, showers in the east, mostly sunny and hot in the south, a cooler change in the west. This is News Now. Independent MP Nick Xenophon has been detained at a Malaysian airport and will be deported from the country tonight because he's considered a security risk. Senator Xenophon says he was told by officials his human rights advocacy meant he was not allowed in the country and he will be placed back on a plane to Australia. Brisbane is bracing for its hottest day of the year with a top of 36 degrees predicted for the city. On Monday, it sweated through its hottest October day in four years. Right now to our Brisbane reporter Elizabeth Tilly. Liz, what can you tell us? So far though, Queensland is the only state to go quite as far as this. Elizabeth Tilly. Uh, we're told that there's been a small dip in temperatures. That's a small mercy. 50 urban and 50 rural firefighters plus about a dozen experts leave Brisbane today bound for the New South Wales fire. The leader of the Gold Coast chapter of the Bandidos Motorcycle Club has been granted bail but only on the condition he surrender his passport. Adam White fronted the Brisbane Magistrates Court today, charged with possession of steroids after a series of weekend raids. After 10 days of evidence and a fourth day of deliberations, the jury in the grievous bodily harm trial against the former Bundaberg surgeon have failed to break their stalemate and as a result have been dismissed. Well, the government will launch a new cyber security centre with the Prime Minister saying Australia is at an increased risk of online attacks. Welcome to Market Day. I'm Elizabeth Tilley. Thanks for joining us. Let's just bring you across how the market did finish up this Thursday session. There's been a lot of calls from business and industry groups that the majority of these tax changes today call on business to provide the lion's share of the savings. Do you agree with that? Liquidity boost. The Bank of Japan to buy 7 trillion yen in bonds a month in a bold move to target 2% inflation in two years. The yen weakening on the news and government bond yields soaring. Just when you thought things couldn't get much worse for Fairfax Media, journalists today hit with the news that three of the company's top editors are stepping down. The majority of economists uh, up until today had expected that we would see a quarter of a percent cut by the RBA. Over 70% of those surveyed by us here at Sky News Business thought that anyway. The market though was right on the money. 